because the chalisa is a description of a dream tulsidas used to see hanuman in his dreams he used to see hanuman in reality as well so we have swapna avastha which is a dream state most people have not developed this dream state and then they start reading texts and puranas and that and this thing is only for children i don't know how to do it hmm. then you are a complete idiot you don't read hanuman chalisa you are reading it 40 times a day i am still getting divorced i am still angry with my husband and guruji i read it 40 times a day but i am i still have diabetes nothing that that you can't have problems if you read hanuman chalisa in a dream okay the devas have presence in the sound world mm. which is called swar mm. swar loka mm. swarga shri ram is a dev and you can perceive him as light you can perceive him as sound dharma ram killed ravan okay hanuman killed hundreds of people because dharm they don't have doubt the dharmic people don't have doubt whether they are right or wrong mm. and this is coming from a divine place the ordinary human who hasn't developed their consciousness will have doubt mm. the more you study and the more you become uh, exposed to opposite points of view and this and that that's a time that you should not be in doubt mm. but people are too intellectually lazy they haven't gone and clarified am i right or is that right no. what i heard was my old opinion right or is my new opinion right is something you have to constantly ask yourself right and you have to quickly be in a hurry to make that decision to get that answer if it can't be known what is right and wrong then you have to decide one path of action if it was wrong you'll find out you come back and you take the other one they like we want moksha you will get moksha only when devi thinks that you are ready for moksha mahamaya should think that you are ready for moksha it's not you choosing hey mahamaya you atm machine I'm going to put this code into you, and you will give me moksha. Okay. Gade. Spirituality for donkeys it is. If Devi really loves you, she's given you a body, and now on top of that, you got a human body. What if you had got this insect body? You sit on a tree and say, "Trek, trek." Haru kles bikar. Addictions kles. Bikar means distortions, distortion, distorted views. Haru means to kill. So please kill all my. distorted images this is this is the prayer we making to hanuman after you dream him up baldhama mm-hmm. yeah an incomparable power house mm-hmm. and so what hanuman is so you think of him breathing if hanuman breathes all those trees will shake that would be him and if he puts his hand on his thigh just like this then there will be waves in this mm-hmm. sagara she is a big bhakt of shiva as well anjani mm-hmm. It's a very beautiful monkey goddess. That's like the birthplace of Anuman, where she got the fruit. Uh, that's what Kanchan Baran is. You get a copper complexion. Mm, yeah. So why does Anuman have copper uh, copper complexion? Because Surya Dev is his guru, mm. and he has received every bit of light from Surya Dev. Mm. Kari Beka was. So that's basically it. He is always ready to handle the affairs of Ram. He handles all the affairs of Ram. Mm. I, not only that he is enthusiastic to do it atur mm. this is dependability of hanuman mm. you can just always call on hanuman you can be sure he'll come if you call him for ram kaaj he'll come mm. don't call him for your kaam kaaj mm. ram raj remember is building agreement mm. if you want to build agreement in your organization in your family in your love life wherever you want If you call Hanuman and say, "Can I have agreement like you used to have in Ram Raj, mm. in my house at least?" Mm. It'll happen. Namaste. Welcome to Ancient Echoes, and uh, finally we are doing the. एपिसोड ऑन हनुमान चालीसा जय हनुमान जय हनुमान विल बी डिवाइडिंग हनुमान चालीसा इंटू फोर पार्ट्स वेर विल बी इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट विल बी कवरिंग द दोहा एंड फर्स्ट टेन चौपाइज ओके सो बट बिफोर वी बिगिन आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू आस्क गुरु जी हु हैज़ अग्रीड टू कम विद अस हियर इन दिस ब्यूटिफुल प्लेस फॉर इट्स वेरी ब्यूटिफुल for a really uh a uh, uh, long awaited and a very divine uh text of hanuman <coughs> chalisa mm. and uncovering it and revealing it through your 
uh, lens of being a guru hmm. uh, if you would really like to learn this hmm. so thank you for uh, coming here with us um, along with me a lot of eagles have also come yeah <laughs> they're loving it uh. they've been here since a uh, while they have decided not to leave yeah so that's amazing this happens if you're going to talk uh, if you see the hanuman uh, chalisa is a magical text mm. it's really um, an outpouring of magic so whenever somebody talks about it reads about it there will be a lot of spirits that come to listen mm. and so you have to also remember all of them because mm. tulsi das got darshan of hanuman from a preta mm. which is a spirit a, a thirsty spirit so there are several spirits who are thirsty and when he used to go to the forest for for you know his prayers and come back he would have a little extra water with him which he used to pour on a tree mm. in varanasi and a preta used to live there mm. so the preta said that uh, he's been quenching my thirst for so long now so i'm going to give him a boon so shall i give you a boon and then tulsidas said uh, yeah i want to see ram and he's like utna bhi level nahi hai mera but i can show you hanuman because whenever you read you know hanuman comes there he is the first to arrive and the last to leave so you notice who comes first and who leaves last and you go and follow him mm. and then you corner him and you say i know who you are and then beg him to reveal himself don't let him go <coughs> that's what the preta advises tulsi das so there are a lot of spirits like that uh who really love hanuman uh, for various reasons because hanuman is like that he is mm. will understand his character in short in 40 uh chapais which is like four, uh, what are they called quartets mm. yeah quartets yeah Something. quartets yeah so we will understand hanuman's character in 40 quartets we'll know him very well if you watch this whole series you will know hanuman very well mm. okay so guru ji who should do this uh and <coughs> Uh, how should they do this how many times should they do this How anyone is? can do it i'll tell you about who should not do it so please don't read hanuman chalisa if you don't know how to dream up hanuman because the chalisa is a is a dream a description of a dream tulsidas used to see hanuman in his dreams he used to see hanuman in reality as well so we have swapna avastha which is a dream state most people have not developed this dream state and then they start reading texts and puranas and that mm. this like whatever story you are reading description you are reading dhyana you are reading you have to visualize the deity as described in the dhyanam there are stotras stutis which the god, gods are singing in praise of devi and other gods so sometimes they are doing vishnu stuti sometimes they are doing brahma stuti and all of these it, it is their dream they dreaming it up how do you know the difference between real world and a dream world you know people keep asking me like what what's the difference between a real world and the dream world and this is opalite okay when i look through this you can know what a dream world is like <laughs> okay look through it and tell us what you see you're looking at our camera crew you're looking at the mighty kaveri in front of us wow now like a dream yeah suddenly you notice so many more things yeah. right in a dream so a dream is made up of light when the light changes it becomes a dream now the light is changing and these guys are not looking real anymore mm. both our camera men are not looking real nobody is looking real here okay so it's the light it's the way the light bends that mm. is the Warping difference what is happening there, there's a world of light and it it is uh, light beyond our visible frequencies that we have around us it's called bhuvarloka and all the spirits and all the gods and so many of the gods gods have presence both in the light world and the sound world mm. the devas have presence in the sound world mm. which is called swar mm. swar loka mm. swarga that is where devas live it so well it is sound sound is swar mm. 
<coughs> swar is a note in music mm. but swar is also vibration mm. and uh, a sound a sound vibration is swar so when you look at devas you cannot when when you perceive devas it cannot be without sound mm. okay so shri ram is a dev as well and you can perceive him as light you can perceive him as sound mm. and you can perceive him as anything and the same with hanuman mm. he comes in the waking world as well because hanuman is immortal he hasn't left this planet when it was shri ram's time to go when the yuga ended he told hanuman you stay because people will need you in kaliyug so then that's why hanuman stayed he said ram told me to stay so others he had no meaning living here mm. but ram's given him a job it's so like you wait till i come back i'll come back as kalki till then you wait don't go anywhere <laughs> so hanuman is waiting and uh, there's a village in sri lanka which claims that hanuman visits them every 41 years next is 2055 let's go mm. we'll go and wait there for hanuman yeah. okay because i have seen hanuman in the physical form mm. i've seen him also in the dream form mm. it's been uh, it's been many years many years mm. but ever since i saw hanuman there's been a change in my uh, there's been a next level understanding of uh, the world the darshanas the mm. the philosophies of 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 hinduism sanatan mm. Mm. and there's been a next level understanding of the vedangas as well including the puranas and mm. itihasas ramayana mahabharat Uh, because i could hear it through the voice of hanuman mm. and i don't know what 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 are the things he gave me i have no idea no because i said give me the biggest thing you can give me so something mm. he gave me mm. and then in, uh, all the knowledge of gada secret knowledge mm. that even the big teachers of gada don't know mm. i learned mm. how, and how to use it for combat what are the ways in which you can lift this thing mm. with urdhvaretas mm. that is your upward rising energy mm. can you lift the gada with upward rising energy all this he taught me mm. and hanuman would use a tree as a gada he was so strong mm. with gada training the gada was given to him by uh, kubera as a gift he did not need the gada mm. he would use a tree itself mm. but the gada became the symbol of that for that ability to swing something mm. which is heavy at the end mm. like a tree mm. and that's that's what it is then after that after tulsidas came i guess they started representing hanuman with gada mm. gada became a symbol of lord vishnu mm. cuz lord vishnu also has a gada mm. but his gada gada is made uh, uh, from from the sun yeah but hanuman's gada i don't know how it was made no idea you had told last time it was vajra gada vajra right yeah so all the vajra which is which is what is the power of the wind the striking power of the wind is the vajra the lightning too mm. so the wind rubs over water and then vajra gets created mm. that's what it is that's what happens in the sky mm. the wind rubs over water here and it takes up electric it takes up water as electricity and it becomes mm. clouds mm. clouds don't make you wet mm. you been in uh, my house in uh, himachal right mm. you walk through clouds every day mm. you don't yeah. get wet yeah but you get you get energized mm. especially if you go to the krishna temple yeah, yeah, yeah. at nagar yeah uh, then definitely you will get washed in clouds yeah, yeah. every day or if you go to bijli mahadev yeah clouds will wash away like this yeah and they don't make you wet so suddenly wind has electrified and they are all charged with vajra mm. a body is like that a body is charged with vajra in every place right mm. across the cell there's a potential of vajra mm. so there's we are all contained in this vajra so all this vajra put together beamed out into a bulb mm. that's the gada so it's a very charged mm. weapon and that's why i keep it in wood because i like it would mm. makes it charge a lot i've got a metal one as well mm. it's not that great for me mm. it's okay but it's not like wood one mm. wood one is a challenge mm. 
because it's got its own fibers inside it's mm. got its own capacity to hold energy when it was a tree it used to do that so it's move it's moving it has an, uh, the ability to move vajra through it you know mm -hmm. so that's why this gada anyway so uh, I got sidetracked. What is he saying about Tulsi? About the Sapna. Who ah, should Sapna not do state. this? Who should not do this? It's the those who cannot dream. Mm. Who say that dreaming is only for children. I don't know how to do it. Mm. Then you are a complete idiot. You don't read mm. Hanuman Chalisa. Nothing will happen. You can. I know people who read it 40 times a day. Guruji, I read it 40 times a day. I am still getting divorced. I am still angry with my husband. And Guruji, I read it 40 times a day. But I'm, I still have diabetes. Nothing that that you can't have problems if you read Hanuman Chalisa in a dream. Okay, you have to get into a dream-like state. Mm. And it's the same for any mantra. It's the same for any of the vidyas. Mm. Look, Maya comes in two forms: vidya and avidya. Mm. When Maya comes as vidya, she comes as a dream. Mm. And she comes as avidya also. She comes as a dream. Mm. So, a lot of the avidya people have got. It's from drinking the water of Thames River. Mm. In India, we do this a lot. Mm. Even right now, we are drinking water of Thames River, speaking in English. Okay? So, this is for the benefit of the Thames washed people of India mm. that uh, we can, that I'm doing it in English. Mm. And when you have done that, you've also swallowed in the culture of the Western mind. And the culture of the Western mind is extremely violent. Mm. Doesn't want to investigate something without taking it apart. Mm. There is another level of investigation, an in investigation where you do it on a spiritual level by speaking to spirits, mm. which is what Tulsi Das used to do all the time, mm. which is how everything was written. The Quran, the Bible, everything was written by spe speaking with spirits. Mm. <laughs> Similarly, that's what we do here. If you want to create art, then we do that. We make spiritual art by yeah. speaking to a spirit. The spirit can be a, uh, a light being or a sound being. Mm. The light beings are usually lower in stature than the sound beings. Mm. Sound beings are higher, higher in stature. Mm. So we use mantra vidya for that. Mm. But everything has to be in a dream. We have to dream it. Mm. When we dream it, when we dream it a lot, it becomes reality. Mm. I dreamt a lot that I will meet Hanuman one day and I met him. Mm. You have to dream it. I dreamt a lot that I will meet a, a, a worthwhile guru who will give me a worthwhile project to do in this world. Mm. And I met him. Mm. And I was, I was just looking for knowledge, but then I realized I need purpose too. Everything that, all spirituality starts with purpose. If you don't have purpose, then what spirituality? Why spirituality? Mm. Why should you do? Okay? People are like, read Hanuman Chalisa. That's like me asking you, go to Bangalore. I'll go to Bangalore and then you, you're like, why? The first, mm. What's the first question you're like? Yeah, for what reason? For what reason? Read Hanuman Chalisa, for what reason? You have to be very clear that this is a spiritual activity you're doing to connect to Hanuman and get three things. Purpose, knowledge and action power. Mm. Ichcha, Kriya, Jnana, Shakti. Mm. That is Vidya. Maya has come to you as Vidya. She gives you these three. Mm. She comes as Avidya, She'll give you avicca, <laughs> akriya, <laughs> and ajnana. Mm. These three also you can accumulate by going to school and college. Mm. Mm. If you go to school and college, you will you will. It is it's a mandir of avidya. Mm. Okay, mm. they should call it avidya mandir, not vidya mandir. Mm. There are a lot of schools called vidya mandir. Mm. They should change the name to avidya mandir. Okay, mm. and the reason is that you are teaching subjects which are not spiritual. Mm. You don't have that in you and you're afraid to do it. Why the hell was I forced to read Shakespeare and uh, another secular person called Premchand? Why was I forced to read these idiot books? Mm. Why you didn't ask me to read Ram Charitmanas? Mm. Why didn't you ask me to read Mahabharat? Mm. Why didn't you ask me to read Devi Puran in school? If I'd read Devi Puran, I'd have got enough information to live my life. Mm. So these books are not ordinary books. Just like that, Hanuman Chalisa is not an ordinary book. In fact, it's a magical book in shorty for, in 40 short verses, not shorty fort verses. In, in 40 short verses, he has conveyed that. And it's all rhyming and it's so beautiful and it's so amazing. And he's, he's conveyed a lot of things. 
there are three stages in the Hanuman Chalisa and I call them Avahana, Aradhana and Seva. These are the three stages. Okay? So in the beginning you will see there is an Avahana of Hanuman. Mm. That means in the dream state we are building Hanuman. Mm. By everything we are saying about him, each line builds the figure of Hanuman in, in your dream. Mm. Okay? So as we listen to the lines today, we will build the the dream of Hanuman. Okay? So we will call this Hanuman Dreaming Chapter. <laughs> the first 40 are Hanuman dreaming. Mm. Now maybe a little more verses, okay? But these are the three stages. So what is Aradhana? Aradhana is you talking to Hanuman yourself. Mm. You can ask him so many things. Mm. And Kulchi has given you a lot of Shaktis, a lot of, lot of Siddhis that you can get by just reading Hanuman Chalisa. It's there in the Chalisa only, but people mm. just read it. Nah, 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 because Avidya Mandir education, no? Mm. So nah, 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 karke, they just read it. I read 101 Chalisa 40 times good but I'm still getting divorced. Mm. Okay. That's what happens. Okay? Or I'm still, I still got diabetes or I still have something else going on. Mm. Ah, I still don't have money in the bank, Guruji. I will do your course in uh, 2025. Mm. So, that also will happen. Mm. But I read Hanuman Chalisa every day. Mm. Look at this darshan. Mm. Ah, so the five animals associated with Hanuman mm. are the Garud, the Varaha, you know what Garud is? Eagle. Eagle, yes. Ah. Varaha is Do they know in Thames what is Varaha? It's a wild boar, okay? Ah. Mm. And then there is horse, mm. and then there is lion, mm. and then there is langur, mm. monkey. Mm. So these are the five animals that will keep coming when you start talking about Hanuman. Mm. It will happen. Of course there are no horses here but the easiest thing to manifest is an eagle and today we, we, it's like we are sitting in an eagle's nest. Yeah. There is an eagle's nest right behind us. Yeah. You can hear it. Yeah. So it's not by accident that we came here. Mm. Come, let's read. Great. So, let's begin with the Doha. Huh. Uh, Shri Guru Charana Saroja Raja huh. Nija, Nija Mana Mukuru Sudhari So, this is about self-image. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Before you embark on a journey hmm. of the Puja, Aradhana and Seva, you should know what is Puja, Aradhana and Seva. Hmm. In Puja, you are... Uh, sorry, I'm so sorry. What am I saying? Puja, Aradhana, not Avahana mm. and Seva. Okay. In Puja, we do the Avahana, which means Puja is all done to welcome the deity. Mm. You call the deity, you do Avahana, you offer Argya, you offer this, you offer that, you offer mm. that. But everything you do for the deity mm. is called Seva. Mm. Like fanning the deity with a peacock feather fan mm. Mm. or uh, doing Abhishek mm. or washing the deity's feet. All that is called uh, Seva. Okay. Mm. And Sometimes things get so bad for me because I am surrounded by students who have such a bad life situation. So I go and beg Devi for mercy and I do her seva with a peacock feather fan. Hmm. And I just keep, I just stand there and I keep doing the seva. Then I feel like waves and waves and waves of something coming towards me. Hmm. That's seva. Hmm. But uh, when you do seva, you get back, they, uh, like God gives you back much more than you give. But aradhana, is you establishing the context of why you came here. Mm. It's a dialogue, right? Mm. So many people come and tell me, you're a student of Mahathar Babaji, how can I meet Mahathar Babaji? Mm. I'm like, the why is very important. Let's say Mahathar Babaji is right here. Mm. What are you going to ask him? Mm. They haven't thought about it. Mm. You saw that dog that came running after a car today while yeah. we were on the way? Yeah. It's no better than that. Yeah. Doesn't know why he wants the car. Mm. And I just think dogs are going nuts because of the artificial lights at night. Mm. So they're just going nuts. It's not their fault. Mm. But humans also, same reason, are going nuts mm. because of artificial lights at night. Mm. They don't know how to be in the dark after the sun sets. Mm. They can't. Some people are scared of the dark. Can you believe? They put the blue light and sleep all night. Yeah. So. It's a chicken or egg. Do they get scared of the dark first 
or did the light make them scared of the dark? Yeah. A lot of them feel like working uh, at night, like yeah, because of that. All of them, as a child itself, their mother has been putting light on them in the mm. night so that cockroach don't come near them mm. or something. And they mm. they they really like screwed from childhood. Mm-hmm. People who are afraid of the dark, scared of the dark, mm. need a light. I have to work at night. I'm a night owl. Mm. These are all like things that dogs should say because they're nocturnal. Mm. Bats should say because they're nocturnal. Rats should say because they're nocturnal. But not humans. Humans are diurnal, mm. and we don't have. We don't have mechanisms to produce ultraviolet C radiation like these mm. animals do mm. to produce their vitamin D. They don't need sun like us. Mm. They have their own sun inside, but we need sun. Mm. All our stuff is out outside here. Mm. All the melatonin, the semiconductor, mm. just takes energy from the sun. Not only is it a semiconductor, muscles are piezoelectric. Mm. You want to produce electricity in your body, just squeeze yourself. Mm. That's why after a massage you feel energized mm. because the squeezing has converted to energy for you, mm. which your mitochondria can now use. Mm. So yes. Mm. So now your self image is who is mm. undergoing this journey. Mm. For what you know. Mm. For aradhana. In aradhana, you put forward your request. You put your context forward. Why? Why? The why you explain to the God. Why? Mm. That's aradhana. Okay. Mm-hmm. You also adore the God, and you explain like you are the only one who can help me. Mm-hmm. When you do aradhana like that, things just change, miracles just happen. Okay. Mm-hmm. Then finally, there's the seva which we have to do of the God for mm-hmm. having listened to us, for having appeared to us in the dream state, mm-hmm. having talked to us. Mm-hmm. Then we offer some kind of seva mm-hmm. at the end. It can be anything. Can be something which pleases the God also. Mm. Like I will, la- I will feed so many hungry people in your name. Mm. God says okay, mm. as a seva, accepts it as a seva. Mm. You know, a lot of celebrities do this a lot. Mm. They do a lot of seva. Mm. And that's how they get uh, stability in their their position. Those who are atheistic just die. People in the public life, if they're atheistic, they die. They mm. can't take that energy. Because you need divine energy to uh, to protect you when you get into the public life. Mm. Okay, so those who are in the public life dying. You need to listen to this podcast. Yeah, everybody needs to listen. Yeah, but if you say I can't dream, I stopped dreaming when I was a kid, and na 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 na, then you don't listen. You watch something else. Yeah, let's continue. Mm. The first podcast I've done with eagles in it. So, so we've been talking yeah. about Mukuru, right? Yes. Yeah. So Mukuru means river. Uh, Mukuru means mirror. Mirror, huh? <laughs> Because I can see the river here. Anyway, the river is also a mirror. Yeah? mirror. It's mirroring the sky. Yeah. Look at it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you need to know who you are. But it's only at the feet of the guru, the the, the one one drop of dust from the feet of the guru. Mm-hmm. is enough to clean my mirror is what he's saying oh. like mm. i clean my mirror with the dust of the uh, of mm. the guru's feet mm. so who's this guru mm. lord shiva takes the form of guru mm. always so he's the one who comes as uh, uh, dakshina murti and he's the guru of gurus adi guru mm. okay So he, this is a prayer to Lord Shiva. Mm. He says, "From the dust of the feet of Lord Shiva, my mirror got inner mirror, nijman mukru. My mm. inner self image got cleaned." Mm. Yeah. Ah. Then, bara nau ragu bara bimala jasu, jo dayaku falachari. Okay. So I'm going to tell you about the pure glory of Sri Ram. and jo dayak ha so he gives he gives four fruits mm. what are these four fruits dharm arth kaam and moksha mm. these are the four fruits that uh, we can uh, expect from god mm. so just listening to the story 
this narrative of Sri Ram, this pure narrative, he says. Okay, why pure? Because it's written from the heart. It's written without worrying about any kind of meter or Sanskrit or anything. Because when Tulsi Das used to write in Sanskrit, it was great. But he had uh, he had been told in a dream, I think, by uh, some god, I don't know who. Shiva. By Shiva and Sir Kal Bhairav. Or was it Kashi Vishwanath? Kashi Vishwanath. Yeah. So Kashi Vishwanath told him, or uh, Kal Bhairav told him, I'm not sure. One of one of the deities uh, in uh, Varanasi told him that you should write in the local language. So he wrote in Braj and Audi, hmm. which was the language people understood then, because hmm. Sanskrit was too much. Okay? So, yeah, that's what it is. So, these four uh, Purusharthas will come to you if you listen to the Hanuman Chalisa. Or if you watch all four episodes uh, of us, you will get the Purushartha. Mm. What are they? Dharma, Artha, Kama, Moksha. Mm. You will know right from wrong. That's when you become dharmic. Mm. Okay? You will not end things at disagreement. Mm. You will come to agreement from, with everybody in your life by following the dharma. Because you know what is right and what is wrong. You don't need this, you will not be in doubt about whether you have, those who are in doubt, it's called dharam sankat. Mm. If you have a different, if you don't know what is right and what is wrong, mm. it's called dharam sankat. Okay. Mm. So, Hanuman is also sankat mochan, he will remove your sankat, dharam sankat and he will put you back on what is your dharma, it will become clear for you. Okay, a lot of people can have dharam sankat. Mm. Many men have dharam sankat, sandwiched between their mothers and their mm. wives. Mm. Dharam sankat, do I support the wife or do I support the mother? Both are important to me. Mm. Like this. All this dharam sankat will be gone mm. and you will choose one side with clarity saying this is dharma. Mm. So yeah, now, that nowadays is dharma. it's also like should I choose my job or should I choose my family? Where should I? <coughs> yeah. It's also should I become an entrepreneur or not? Mm or any of these things, people sit in dharam sankat and then they lose all their energy. Mm -hmm. So, dharm is the ending of dharam sankat and the clarity of what to, what to do next. Mm -hmm. If you have the answer to what next without flinching, mm -hmm. then you are following your dharma. Mm -hmm. You have to be clear about it. There should be no, uh, is it right, is it wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even killing is okay. In the, name, in the, in the interest of Protecting Dharma, Ram killed Ravan. Okay, Hanuman killed hundreds of people because Dharma. Okay, they don't have doubt. The Dharmic people don't have doubt whether they are right or wrong. Mm. And this is coming from a divine place. Mm. The human, the ordinary human who hasn't developed their consciousness will have doubt. Mm. But spiritual people are never in doubt mm. whether something is right or something is wrong. They know what's right and they know what's wrong. Mm. They don't need to be told this. Mm. Well, the more you study and the more you become uh, exposed to opposite points of view and this and that, that's a time that you should not be in doubt. But people are too intellectually lazy. They haven't gone and clarified. Am I right or is that right, what I heard? Was my old opinion right or is my new opinion right? It's something you have to constantly ask yourself, right? And you have to quickly be in a hurry to make that decision, to get that answer. I mean, even if the answer is it can't be known, that's fine then making a decision is your dharma. If it can't be known what is right and wrong, then you have to decide one path of action. If it was wrong, you'll find out, you come back and you take the other one. Mm. The two paths in the wood, you think both of them lead to your house. You're lost. Mm. How to know which one to take? Take one. Mm. Just take one. Mm. You pray and take one. Mm. Ah, then if you have aradhana, you do a puja, you do aradhana and you do seva and you say, please guide me, Hanuman. And Hanuman will guide you. Mm. That is dharma. Divine guidance on what is right and wrong, even when the lines are fuzzy. Mm. That is dharma. What is earth? Earth is wealth. Mm. Do you know how many people cry about not having enough money? You just need to listen to this. Mm. And your ideas of wealth will change. Mm. Just in Hanuman Chalisa. So this, what he's saying is called Phal Shruti, right? Mm. Also. Mm. I Means it tells you what is the Phal you're going to get from. He said all the four. Calm, Sexual excitement, not excitement, but um, sexual desires, mm. okay, deep ones, 
mm. like things that will really satisfy you sexually that's calm mm. and most people don't get to even talk about it mm. more than they, but listening to this one mm. the right atmosphere for that also the right environment for that to also happen safely will will come to you if you listen to hanuman chalisa okay uh oh, that's what it so i'm listening to hanuman chalisa many times 40 times and then i became a brahmachari and i gave up sex if that has been your journey with hanuman chalisa you missed the first line because ye charo phal deta hai halu what about calm then you say calm is other desires or no it specifically requires to sexual desires that is calm you know it can also be other than just calm vasana and that and this and in the purusharthas kama is the sexual satisfaction the sexual game the mating game the desire that grows inside we have never been allowed to focus on it by anybody including those who will write hate comments about this they are also included in that Hmm. Fortunately, we don't have many of them. We don't have many of them, but if we yeah. do, yeah. then it shows who they are. Yeah. Sexually deprived. Yeah. You know. Yeah. People who don't have sex as a central part of their life, despite it being part of the part of the uh, purusharthas, they don't know how to do this safely without a big problem. Hmm. And they don't know how to do it consensually, and they don't know how to do it long term, and they don't just they don't know. Nobody knows. Nobody knows why their sex life keeps getting spoiled. Even after marriage, it keeps getting spoiled. Nobody has a good sex life, so they don't have the third third purushartha, mm-hmm. and they want moksha. These are the guys who want moksha. Okay? They're like we want moksha. You will get moksha only when Devi thinks that you are ready for moksha. That's how it is. Mahamaya should think that you are ready for moksha. It's not you choosing. Hey, Mahamaya, you ATM machine. I'm going to put this code into you, and you will give me moksha. Okay. Gade. Huh? Spirituality for donkeys. It is. Okay. So, if Devi wants to take you out of the world, she better make you a part of herself, and she will. But she won't. If she loves you, she'll keep you outside. Well, how can you enjoy yourself? If you love someone, you want them to be part of you. Then how you'll enjoy them? So if Devi really loves you, she's given you a body, and now on top of that, you got a human body. What if you had got this insect body? You sit on a tree and say, "Trrr, trrr." I think it's a bird or whatever. and then you don't have consciousness you can't don't have different states of consciousness you don't have swapna and you don't have sushupti imagination it's really not that much all you can think of is where are the berries where are the berries where are the berries i got to save berries for the winter berries berries your whole life is about that no mm. for most people their whole life is about slavery mm. despite being human it's a huge irresponsibility by the education system that people are so clueless and unhappy mm. and you continue to tell people you will make excellent citizens out of their children and force them and make them pay lot of money what a scam mm. okay these four purusharthas nothing okay these will not be discussed in school the purushartha is the meaning of life okay dharma No, no, let's not talk about dharma and what is right and what is wrong. To each his own. We are liberals. Mm. Okay, finished. That's the uh, the stance in school. Like we don't want to know what's right, what's wrong. What do our shastras say? We don't want to know. Like Devi Puran has listed everything. Mm. Artha, I didn't have a single lesson about how to make money in school. Just nothing. Just nothing. Kama, forget it. Just forget it. they were hesitating even to draw a penis on on the board textbook ha huh. yeah cuz even the teacher didn't know how it looks and she's teaching about sex 
It's quite miserable. Then we are left to educate ourselves. How are we supposed to find out about this and become educated? Children don't even know what goes into what. Okay? So, this is India, so bad. I mean, in Bharat, the sex education is non-existent. In the foreign countries, sex education is about preventing uh, pregnancy and having a good period or something. Not that also they don't know how to teach. They don't know why, why women have period problems. They can't even explain. Finally, they come to me. I am uneducated. I stopped going to school when I was young only. I figured it, I hacked it. I said, I can get attendance without going and I got it. So, anybody can do it. I mean, it's not so hard to hack a school system. Come on. It's no big deal. There are so many underpaid, frustrated workers. And you can get anything done in a school. They think they're sitting on a very secure place. Hmm. But you can break into a school and change anything if you want. Hmm. If I were a hacker, I would have hacked schools. But I'm not a hacker. Hmm. I don't have time for this. Hmm. But I often play with these scenarios in my mind and say, hmm. how easy it is hmm. to walk in here and just ruin it hmm. if I want. Because there's no security. They don't have any connect with their employees. Right. They don't have any connect with their students. Right. Okay. You come and talk to one of my students and tell him how shit I am and try to convert him to something else. Hmm. He'll take the gada and hit you two times and say, you, if, if you can do this back to me, then I'll join. Huh? Well, that's how we should train people. Hmm. That's how we build a cohesive society, okay? Hmm. Sexuality, to forget it. And then moksha, to forget it. Hmm. Why is this moksha chapter here? Hmm. Moksha... They say it's for freedom from uh, birth and death. Hmm. Well, why do birth and death happen? Because we die. If you stop dying, then there's liberation. Hmm. It has been very clear in, in the Devi Bhagavatam that uh, liberation is, moksha is uh, not to be had when you die. Hmm. It's to be had when you're alive. Okay? Hmm. So you'll get moksha when you're alive, which means you know the secret of life and death. And you know how to get across the Mahakali river which separates the life and dead life, living and dead and we are going to put up a lot of videos about this on my channel so stay tuned or maybe on another channel it's going to be focused entirely on death okay if you know all all the knowledge about death then you'll get moksha you'll know how to but the listening to Hanuman Chalisa also has the potential to give you jivan mukti hmm. to become free of the cycle of birth and death, while being alive, not while being dead. While being dead, nothing happens. Hmm. Right. So, my gurus have made me die many times. I come back from the dead many times. I visited that world many times. And I learned how to do it without having any harm to my body as well. First, my body had to be harmed for me to get to those states. Hmm. It happened at least six times in my life that I've, I've had near-death experiences and I got out of body and all that happened with damage to the body. Hmm. And then I figured out, yeah, you can just be out of the body all the time. You dream it up. Dream is as much real as reality. If an elephant runs at you in reality, you'll run. Hmm. If an elef elephant in uh, waking reality, you'll run. If an elephant runs at you in dream reality, also you'll run. If, an elephant run, if you imagine an elephant running at you, then you won't run. Hmm. Okay? So for most people, they're using imagination for spirituality. It's a useless place. Hmm to start. Hmm. You have to use dream for spirituality. Okay? So good. So this is just some stuff. Phal Shruti is also there. Let's go on. Hmm. Read. Buddhi Heena Tanu Jani Ke Sumerau Pavana Kumar Please think of yourself as completely stupid. Buddhi Heen and remember dream up hmm. Hanuman. Instructions. Hmm. These are instructions. Hmm. Yes. Bala buddhi vidya uh. dehu mohi uh. harahu kalesa bikar. Yeah. So this is the prayer you have to make to Hanuman. Listen Hanuman, I have no brains. <laughs> Only you have to help me. Give me bal buddhi and? Vidya. Uh, vidya. Uh, vidya. So give me vidya. Vidya is the nice part of Maya. Where, where things grow, things are happy. Uh, avidya is the other state which you went through school and college. That's called avidya in avidya mandir. Okay, so uh, this is Vidya. You're 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 getting back to Vidya. Bala, 
बल बुद्धि बुद्धि बल बल स्ट्रेंथ बल बुद्धि गोज टूगेदर यू हैव टू बी फिजिकली स्ट्रॉन्ग टू बी इंटेलिजेंट नो बडी वॉज चेंज द वर्ल्ड वॉज नॉट चेंज बाई फिजिकली वीक पीपल एवर इट्स फिजिकली स्ट्रॉन्ग पीपल हु आर एबल टू डू एनी थिंग ओके सो बल इज बल देर इज नो मैस्क्यूलिन बल फेमिन बल इट्स द सेम फॉर एवरी वन सेम शोल्डर मसल्स हैव टू ग्रो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू टेक रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज इन द वर्ल्ड and small shouldered person cannot take the responsibility of the world they will burn out mm. and it's happened to so many small shouldered people who took who shouldered responsibilities they burn out they can't take it mm. okay so bal and buddhi and vidya mm. great things to ask for dehu mohi means give give to me mm. Mm. harahu kales harahu kales bikar kales uh, and bikar are like all of these avidyas mm-hmm. it's like a list of avidyas okay mm-hmm. addictions clash mm-hmm. and uh, you know like when we walked here i can so many seeds have stuck to my dhoti mm-hmm. as we walk through the forest mm-hmm. uh, that is called clash hanging mm-hmm. on mm-hmm. okay like baggage baggage and uh, addiction and mm-hmm. that kind of stuff mm-hmm. haruhu clash bikar mm-hmm. bikar means uh, distortions mm. distortion distorted views mm. of life mm-hmm. haruhu means to kill mm. so please kill all my distorted images this is this is the prayer i'm making to hanuman after you dream him up mm. so and this is how you talk to hanuman you know i'm really stupid hanuman like i have no idea i got avidya training mm. please give me buddhi bal vidya and remove klesh and bikar mm. that's it at the my addictions and uh, distortions that i have mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so this is the doha right mm-hmm. yeah the the couplet the two lines before we start mm-hmm. jay hanuman hmm gyan guna sagar wait 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 do you know what a sagar looks like It's right in front of us ha this is krishna raja sagar dam mm-hmm. okay can you show them the sagar so please show the sagar Huh. Okay, so Sagar is really it's expansive. Gyan and Gun. He's a Sagar of Gyan and Gun. What do you think that would look like? Just imagine that Hanuman's brain and body mm. is like an ocean, so wide you can't see the other end. Mm. Jai Hanuman, Gyan Gun Sagar. Okay. Mm. Don't think of the tiny Hanuman you have on your car. Mm. not that this is some immersive dreaming like it's it's something so big you can't imagine mm. jay hanuman gyan gun sagar okay you can't see the other side of sagar you can't see the other side of hanuman mm. you can just feel him like a presence mm. so now you're just feeling that uh, sagar like presence mm. Mm. next jay kapis jay kapis tihu lok ujagar Kapis means king of monkeys. Three hmm. uh, loko ka ujagar means hmm. he illuminates the real world also, like waking world, dreaming world, and world of imagination called Sushupti. Okay, hmm. so he illuminates all this with light. So now here's a reference to Hanuman as a light being, hmm. just like the yakshas and everything. Hmm. So giving him an offering of light will help. Hmm. lighter lamp for hanuman hmm. when you read hanuman chalisa hmm. jay hanuman gyan gur sagar jay kapis tihu lok ujagar that means i want to see you in a dream i want to see you in for real like in the waking world and i want to see you in my imagination also i want you only hmm. Hmm. ram dut atulit bal dhama Mm-hmm. Ram Ram Dut Ram Dut means he is equivalent to Ram. Mm. Huh. He could represent Ram. Mm. Ram sent him just to show a taste of Ram's power to Ravan mm. and to show the depth of Ram's love for Sita. Mm. He sent Hanuman. 
you could trust hanuman to go and represent him hmm. to go and do his thing there and there's no problem right so to be a doot of someone is a great honor hmm. cuz he trusts you to go to the other side to the enemy side and and convey things exactly without distorting that means he's someone who's really understood the philosophy of ram rajya when he goes there a country where everyone agreed with each other that's called ram rajya the whole country people everyone agreed to each other that's called mm-hmm. ram rajya okay mm-hmm. it's a impossible to build in today's yes. times yeah. <laughs> but uh, we can do it on small scale mm-hmm. making it big scale is very difficult mm-hmm. because it's kalyug already so we can't do so that was uh, hanuman representing rama and his rajya mm-hmm. when he went there so that's ram dut so you see that so if he's a ram dut then every quality of ram is inside hanuman Hmm. Inside Hanuman's heart, Ram resides. No, how does Ram reside inside Hanuman's heart? Ram, Sita are there. Lakshman was also there, is it? In his heart, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, Lakshman also. Yeah. So there you go. Hanuman has Ram, kept Sita, Lakshman. Huh? At the end, they say huh? Ram, Lakshman, Sita, Sahit, Tarudhay. Hmm. Correct. So you come and sit. Correct. So with the word doot also you should understand that you know Ram is sitting inside Hanuman. Yeah. Ram doot atulita bol dhama. Atulit means cannot be compared. Atulit you can't you can't weigh him with anything else. Uncomparable. Atulit bol dhama. Ah that means like a what power house of Mm. like a power house baldhama mm-hmm. yeah an incomparable power house mm-hmm. and so at hanuman is so you think of him breathing if hanuman breathes all those trees will shake mm. just one breath the mm. whole forest will shake all the way down mm. okay wow. that would be him and if he puts his hand on his thigh just like this then there will be waves in this Mm. Sagara. Mm. So you got to dream up all this. Mm. So Hanuman is standing there. Of course, he's breathing, and then you're feeling that wind from him breathing. You know, you got to really feel him as a powerhouse. One hair of Hanuman is enough. One hair of Hanuman uh, is enough to kill someone because it's so big. It's like a weapon. you can take one hair from hanuman's hand like this that's enough that that you have to hold like this and then you can hit people you can hold the short end and hit people with the other end and they die so that's how how powerful hanuman is if hanuman cuts his nails he has to be careful where to drop it mm. because if he drops it in the wrong place that place will get destroyed by the sharp end of the nail mm. that's hanuman mm. so dream of hanuman like this when you say Hmm. This is a meditation, right? Bal Dhamma is a meditation. You see, Hanuman is Bal Dhamma. Okay, then Anjani Putra, Pavana Sutta Nama. So his names are Anjani Putra and Pavan Sutta. Hmm. This, uh, so Anjani conceived Hanuman. with the blessings of the the god of wind because there was a fruit like a mango being sent uh being taken and it was being sent in the sky i think garuda or somebody was taking it i'm not sure who and that was the fruit that gave birth to ram lakshman Bharat Shatrughna. So that was divided into four and was given to <coughs> the wives of uh, the wives of uh, uh, of King Dasharatha. But one small part of Ram's portion fell to the earth, and as it was falling to the earth, Anjani looked up, and the wind god brought it into her mouth. So she also ate it, and then she got pregnant with Hanuman. So that's how he's known as Pavan Sut. Hmm. Means uh, uh, Pavan Sut means like uh, 
son of pawan hmm. son of the wind hmm. so that's how he became son of the wind because the wind was instrumental in hmm. bringing that fruit to anjani hmm. but his father is kesari hmm. anjani's husband hmm. okay so there's a lot of confusion like so now you understand anjani putra pawan so they wanted to visualize this what happened there hmm. how pawan was the one who pushed it hmm. into anjani's mouth the fruit which was got from vashishth's ashram hmm. a piece fell down for her hmm. and she is a big bhakt of shiva as well anjani hmm. she's a very beautiful monkey goddess hmm. also she is hmm. and there is anjanadri hills hmm. where uh, she used to live hmm. so that's that's like the birthplace of anuman where she got the fruit Mm. So they say now Anjanadri Hills. The three four people are claiming this is where Anjanadri Hills is. But yeah. the real place is Hampi. If you go there, you'll realize why mm. the real place is Hampi. Mm. Next one. Mahabir Bikram Bajrangi, mm. Kumati Nivar Sumati Ke Sangi. Mm. Mahabir is, uh, is is one of the warriors. It's also a title of a kind of warriors like Maharathi. Mahabir yeah. is another title. Mm-hmm. Uh, you had explained it uh, like um, Viro, like Viram Kavi. Viram Kavi. Ah, yeah. That is Mavi. Okay. Okay. You know, there's a per- particular number of people you have to defeat and all that. Yeah, yeah. Vikram. Vikram also means courageous. Mm. And the one who can uh, think out of the box, Vikram. Mm. Outside the Kram. Mm. So, Bajrangi mm. means. body like lightning hmm. Hmm. you had to dream up all this about how hanuman looks like his body looks like lightning hmm. there is lightning passing everywhere you know hmm. and that lightning is ram naam hmm. ram 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 hmm. <laughs> you know the tarak mantra is shri ram jay ram jay jay ram oh. this mantra will help you get across anything in your life hmm. because it's tarak it helps you to cross mm. you can cross over anything in your life mm. but the just ram is lightning say ram and say you it's lightning mm. ram ram yeah ram feels so like that try to see that as lightning in hanuman's body water. yeah something running over the water right eh? wind rubbing over the water ha uh-huh, that only yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, ram is narayan oh. he is water hanuman is wind Mm. Pawan Putra. Mm. So together they make lightning. Ram. Mm. The sound of the lightning is Ram. Mm. Mm. You listen carefully to the lightning also, like the thunder which comes after. You'll hear Ram, 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 Ram. Mm. If you listen, you'll hear. <laughs> okay, so there's there's a lot of thunder and lightning going on inside Hanuman, producing light and sound of Ram. Mm. That is Bajrangi. कुमति निवार सुमति के संगी है मैराइट यस कुमति मीन्स रॉन्ग यूज ऑफ द ब्रेन फॉर रॉन्ग ड्रीमिंग रॉन्ग परसेप्शन एंड रॉन्ग इमेजिनेशन कुमति जस्ट यूजिंग अ ब्रेन फॉर द रॉन्ग थिंग्स निवार मीन्स क्योर इट क्योर मी क्योर माई कुमति द क्योर ऑफ कुमति मैंने गिव सुमति so you should visualize this vajra going even in your body even if hanuman puts his one hand on your one finger or even just like pushes some air towards it enough mm. your kumati will get nivar mm. <laughs> will get cured mm. and when hanuman is with you sumati is also with you that's why he is sumati ke sangi mm. okay and if sumati is with you hanuman is with you sumati ke sangi so that's it Brahmari Devi. Kanchan Baran Viraj Subesa, Kanan Kundal Kunchit Kesa. So Kanchan Baran, you know what happens, right? When we sit in the sun, what happens to us? We get tanned. Look at your color. Look at my color. Tanned sounds like something you do to leather. Yeah. You get Kanchan Baran. Yeah. 
Uh, that's what Kanchan Baran is. You get a copper complexion. Mm, yeah. So why does Hanuman have comp- uh, copper complexion? Because Surya Dev is his guru, mm. and he has received every bit of light from Surya Dev, mm. and he has the melanin enough to receive it. Mm. We have our own little bit of melanin, and still we are also becoming Kanchan Baran. Mm. Mm. So Hanuman is like a rich copper. Mm. Biraj Subesa. So means the he is sitting very effortlessly, mm. relaxed, chilled out. Mm. Viraj means like a the posture of a king, mm. kingly posture. Mm. Yeah. What do they say in in Marathi? Raj something. Avish. No, no, Raj, something with Bhav. Raj, something in Marathi, I forgot. Anyway, I re- I came across it in uh, when I was reading Devi Puran in Marathi. So it it is the royal posture. Oh, Raj. Okay, uh, something with Bhav. Yeah, I forgot. That's okay. So that's really how it is, you know. If you see my cat in the morning, he's sitting in that royal posture, mm. Viraj. Mm. So Hanuman is also like Viraj, like this. Mm. Subesa, Subesa means uh, having a good form. Mm. Like Subesa means pleasant form. He looks kingly and he looks pleasant. Mm. Kanchan Varan Viraj Subesa. Huh. Mm. V- visualize it and then, not visualize, dream it up. Mm-hmm. Dream up the Kanchan Baran itself, then see him sitting down. Ah, then Kanan Kundal ah. Kunchit Kesha. Ah. He's got diamond uh, earrings on his mm. diamond, or I don't know, golden maybe. Mm. Yeah. Ah. Kundal is the thing. The moti. Uh, ear, ear moti. Ah. Ah. The uh, ear stud. Ah. Ah. Mm. Kunchit Kesha means curly hair. So Hanuman has curly hair uh, on his head. So you visualize this. Hat Vajra. Hat Vajra or Dwaja Biraje. Kande Munja Jane Usaje. Munja is a grass that uh, is a sacred grass, Munja grass. Mm. <coughs> Darba is also another sacred grass. Munja grass is more pliable, and you can use it to make janeu, which is the mm. thread, uh, the the sacred thread that that people wear, uh, and that is for those who are dwij, who have had a second birth, dwijanma, dwij, born again, <laughs> not born again Christians, but born again, given a new purpose in life. Right after he met Sri Ram, he had a new purpose in life. Hmm. Dwij also because he is a master of the Vedas, and without being initiated as a Dwij, once you start the study of the Vedas, even Tulsidas had to study the Vedas, so he's also Dwij. Hmm. So anyone who studies the Veda really doesn't depend on your caste or your 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 profession. Of course, pro- it it depends on your profession. You can't be like a part-time software engineer and also studying the Vedas part-time. It can't work like that. Okay? You have to be living a Vedic lifestyle. You have to go get sun, you have to touch the Devi in every possible way and then you will become a scholar. Not a scholar, but you will be reborn as a Dwij. Okay? <clears throat> so, the Jani is a symbol of being a Dwij. If you wear it, you may choose not to wear it as well. But the Janeu is a huge symbol of that, of having uh, rededicated yourself after being born. Then you found something really meaningful in your life to be reborn for, to be re- to restructure yourself for. So it's every major event in your life that changes you and you have to make a new version of yourself. Mm. That's a Dwij moment. Mm. But the ultimate dwij is to learn the Vedas. 
Mm. If you do that, then it's you're born again. Mm. Okay. So this shows Hanuman is master of the Vedas, and he has Vajra in his hand, which refers to his Gada. Like I told you, the Gada is concentrated Vajra. Mm. Okay. It's concentrated in in this place, and when you hold it and mm. swing it and move it, mm. it is moving with the Vajra of the body inside. Mm. Mm. So heart Vajra. So this weapon is also called Vajra sometimes. Mm. When it when it refers to Hanuman, the Gada is a Vajra. Mm. Uh, and uh, the Dhaja. Mm. Hanuman carries a flag. and on the flag is himself and that's the flag which was given to uh arjun to put on his chariot mm. and the flag itself had the power of hanuman itself mm. so karan couldn't move the chariot because hanuman is there on the flag mm. so it's, it refers to that flag hath <coughs> vajra or dhaja viraje is holding them royally and uh, then कांदे मुंज कांदे मुंज जने साजे जने साजे साजे मींस सजना टू इट सिट्स ऑन हिज इट अडॉन्स हिज शोल्डर शंकर सुवन केसरी नंदन तेज प्रताप महा जगबंदन ओके इट मींस इनकारनेशन ऑफ शिवा शंकर सुवन एंड केसरी नंदन मींस सन ऑफ केसरी दैट्स हिज फादर So you have to see that he is an incarnation of Shiva also, Hanuman, and so is. Uh, that's why Shiva is also the guru for Tulsi Das. Hanuman himself is the guru. Mm. Hmm? Mm. He met Hanuman in person. Mm. So Shankar Sivan Kesari Nandan. Kesari is his father. He was also like a very handsome, alangur type monkey, okay, Vanar. Tej Pratap. Tejas, uh, the inner fire that you have, Tejas, mm. and Pratap, glory, Mahajagvandan, mm. the whole world, the whole universe respects you. Mm. One that means to show your mm. respect and mm. and uh, offer your praise. Mm. That's one then, okay. Whole world praises you. Whole world respects you. Mm. So to see that, you see Hanuman. Really, if you think about it, he's in so many international mm. locations. You can find Hanuman. The story mm. is yeah. uh, quite uh, pervasive around the world. And in China, they've got Hanuman as well. Yeah. They've got Hanuman everywhere. Vidyavan Guni Ati Chatur, Ram Kaj Karibe Ko Atur. Uh, chatur buddhi what vidyavan vidyavan that means uh, one one who who knows the vidya mm. side of maya uh, vidyavan guni ati chatur guni guni means with lot of good values mm. ati chatur means really clever mm. chatur clever uh, ram kaaj karne ko atur karibe ko atur karibe ko as so that's basically it he is always ready to handle the affairs of ram he handles all the affairs of ram mm. he, not only that he is enthusiastic to do it atur mm. yeah he is always enthusiastic to handle any matter of ram mm. Mm. so now we are we have hanuman is manifesting and there's ram in him now you can get a bigger and bigger dhyanam right you're doing a very deep dreaming of hanuman ओके नेक्स्ट प्रभु चरित्र सुनी बे को रसिया राम लखन सीता मन बसिया राइट सो ही इज ऑलवेज हंग्री टू हियर श्री राम चरित्र और एनी काइंड ऑफ विष्णु स्टोरीज एज वेल या दीज आर ब्लेसिंग यू गेट फ्रॉम द गॉड इज Brahmari Devi in the yeah. forest. She won't bite. She'll come yeah. and she'll bless you and go. Yeah. Uh, so, Prabhu mm. Charit Sunibeko Rasiya. Uh, then, 
राम लखन सीता मन बसिया हाँ ही इज इन इन द माइंड ऑफ राम लखन एंड सीता आई मीन ही स्केप दम इन हिज माइंड या सो यू कैन सी दैट लाइक वेन यू लुक एट हेम ही इज जस्ट गॉड नो एजेंडा फॉर हिमसेल्फ ही इज ऑलवेज हेयर टू सर्व एंड आई आस्ट एंड माई लेट मी बी लाइक दैट लेट मी बी लाइक यू I want to be the biggest servant of Ram. I don't want to be like some deluded, self-appointed messenger of God. I'd mm. rather be a servant of God. Mm. Yeah, that's all I have to do. If He wants me to give message, I'll give. Mm. He wants me to burn Lanka, I'll burn. Mm. I want to be like you. So you think about it. How clear is Hanuman's right and wrong, yes mm. and no, decision making? Mm. Huh? is able to produce uh, enthusiasm mm. just like in a second if you just mention ram he is enthusiastic mm. it's very easy to win hanuman's heart you just have to say ram mm. and he will he will say yes i'm here listening mm. somebody said ram mm. i want to tell me more atus aturta se aayega he'll come with lot of enthusiasm mm. you just have to say ram and then he'll be there mm. you know and then You can ask him for whatever you want, but you have to make your case. Okay, that will come later in the chalisa. Mm. You have to make your case for Anuman. That this is what this is what I want to do. Mm. Okay, mm. but now so far we're just meditating. We're just doing avahan. Anuman is coming. You can even keep a, a, a murti of Anuman, mm. one lamp, and then you start visualizing all this. Mm. Huh. Then, sukshma roop dhari siya hi dikhava. Huh. बिकट रूप धरी लंक जरावा हाँ ही बिकेम सो स्मॉल सूक्ष्म रूप दिस स्मॉल इवेंट दैन ही गॉट इन टू सीता अशोक अशोक वाटी अशोक वाटिका सो ही वेंट दे एंड ही बिकेम लाइक रियली टाइनी सो शुड सी ऑल दिस हनुमान एबिलिटी टू बिकम सो टाइनी एंड विकट रूप means huge he can become huge he has the ashtamaha siddhis no hmm. anima siddhi is to siddhi to become small hmm. yeah lagima siddhi is the the siddhi to become big hmm. so he's talking about his two siddhis you can visualize hmm. hanuman can be as big or as small as you want hmm. okay even it can be this size like this much hmm. he can get even smaller he can become like an atom hmm. anima is the he can become like an atom if you want hmm. so he can be in the atom size he can be everywhere in the dream world in the real world in the imagination hanuman can be anywhere in any any way yeah and you can visualize him burning lanka you can hmm. you can dream it as if you were there hmm. when you do this so hanuman's avahan is happening really good now his energy is coming hmm. Hmm. या भीम रूप भीम रूप धरी असुर सहारे राम चंद्र के संहारे 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 या दैट्स ऑल फाइन राम चंद्र के काज सवारे सवारे ओके सो भीम रूप मींस लाइक बिग फॉर्म दैट मींस विकट रूप आई एम सॉरी अबाउट दैट विकट रूप मींस अ काइंड ऑफ टेरिफाइंग इट वाज वेरी स्कैरी टू सी हनुमान विद हिज टेल ऑन फायर एंड देन शाउटिंग लाइक अ लंगूर यू नो Ah! Kind of, I don't know how he was shouting, you know. Mm. How does the language sound? Ah! 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 Something like this, mm. and that sound. Ah! Mm. And when Hanuman shouts like that, the whole of Lanka shook, mm. and they would hear the sound, and things would burn. Mm. <laughs> they don't know what's going on, mm. so you visualize it. This scream is very good for you to remember. and for you to practice as well it clears your throat as well right mm. yeah mm. the more you practice this uh the more your voice is going to become like velvety mm. no mm. you practice it even for 10 times your voice will become velvety and it will have texture and uh, you will also be able to scare someone suddenly hmm? like the usual shit right hold my hand man yeah what are you feeling 
I don't even knew, do anything yeah. with my hand. You're like, oh shit, oh shit. I don't want to be part of this. Yeah. No? It's like a punch coming on the face. I mean, if you punch with this, because it's coming from the perineum. Mm. Boom! If I hit you with a punch, mm. it's like being hit by Gada, right? Yeah. So imagine Vikat Rupa of Hanuman. Mm. Absolutely terrifying, rageful. Mm. And that voice will stay in your head for days. Mm. Okay? Vikat Rupa. Dare? Lanka, Lanka Jarave. Burnt Lanka. With mm. his own tail, and which mm. Ra- Ravana set on fire to teach him a lesson. Mm. And then he took that tail and burnt Lanka down. Burning tail. And then he went and he put his tail into the water. Mm. Mm. That's it? Huh. Uh, next is... Uh, huh. Bhima Roop Dhari Asura Sahare Rama Chandra Ke Kaja Savare huh. so He will Bhima. always protect the work of Sri Ram. Mm. Whatever it is. You know, this is dependability of Hanuman. Mm. You can just always call on Hanuman. You can be sure he'll come. Mm. Dependability. If you call him for Ram Kaj, he'll come. Mm. Don't call him for your Kam Kaj. Mm. <laughs> if you have some Ram Kaj to do, then you come. Huh? Mm. Which, were, which is building agreement. Ram Raj, remember, is mm. building agreement. Mm. If you want to build agreement in your organization, in your family, in your love life, wherever you want, if you call Hanuman and say, Can I have agreement like you used to have in Ram Raj? Mm. In my house, at least. Mm. It'll happen. Yeah, it's happened. Mm. Mm. The what reports. Like from students? Yeah, from yeah. students. One student, <coughs> uh, Deshem, who's in Nepal. Mm. His uh, family is like staying together, spending their nights together. And it, ar- ar- around the fire, not using blue light, making mm. dark and mm. not switching on TV, like reading and... They're reading Hanuman Chalisa. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Nothing like it. <coughs> so Hanuman Chalisa yeah. is for uh, for people. You know, Tulsi Das is a big scholar of the Vedas and the Vedangas and uh, everything. Mm. Darshanas, all all the darshanas of uh, Sanatan, he knows. Mm. But he wanted to create something really simple. He wrote Ramcharit Manas. That's also very long. But the history of Hanuman Chalisa is that he got into trouble for doing nothing. Mm. He was just walking on his way, then somebody came with, uh, you know, a dead body of a lady and, you know... Uh, sorry, one lady was coming with a dead body of her husband. <coughs> and then he, he kind of blessed her, saying, may you have a long married life. You know, Sabhagyavati Bhava, he mm. said to her. And she said, my husband just died, man. Like, what a thing to say to me. She was like getting butthurt. Mm. And they're carrying the guy and walking. He's sitting up there only. Because Tulsi Das thought that she is Sabhagyavati. And the husband got up. Because, because Tulsi Das thought that it's alive. He said, I, I, I'm not sorry because once I say something, it's going to be like that. That's mm. what he said. Tulsi Das said. Mm. It can't be a mistake. Ram made me say it. Mm. So it's not a mistake. And then the guy is sitting up. Mm. Like he looks like he had no disease. Mm. He's like, Mujhe kahan le ja rahe aap? Mm. Varanasi mein. Le ja rahe mani karni ka ghat to burn him. Mm. Then he said, Idhar hi chhod do. Asi ghat pe utrunga. Mm. He got down. Ah, bye, bye. Then they were, someone there to burn now. Everyone is in the mood to burn something. But he said, not me. Okay. So he escaped from there. And news of this spread to Akbar. It's, there is a my holy man in Varanasi who can raise people from the dead. That time Akbar sitting in Fatipur Sikri as his capital. <laughs> then he called Tulsidas, forcibly. Brought him in chains. Brought him in chains, like to the Mughal throne. And he's like, you perform some miracle for me and he says I heard you brought someone alive he said don't believe everything you hear it's all gas then he said do some miracle for me he said you know it's all gas like no it's just rumors spread about me Mm. I just mind my own business Mm. so he's like you can mind your own business in the jail till you make me a miracle I want Mm. to see so Akbar is like you do this miracle now (laughs) so he threw him in jail man (laughs) like a common criminal right 
and it's tulsi das it's not some ordinary person mm. so then tulsi das started chanting hanuman chalisa mm. he chanted it for 40 days every day he chanted 40 times for 40 days fatehpur sikri was just like torn apart by monkeys they came there no citizen could be safe everybody is getting slaps monkey slaps <laughs> you come out of your house party you'll get monkey slaps sit in your house can't go to buy anything in the shop mm. and they jumped into akbar's private chambers mm. into his harem started beating up all his concubines beat up him also he's like okay 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 and then one one of uh, one of his uh, trusted uh, spiritual advisors he said why you thrown that spiritual man in the jail mm. you let him go mm. Okay, this is a clear indication, mm-hmm. and after that, Akbar shifted his capital to Delhi because he was too scared to stay in Faridabad after this. Mm-hmm. Sorry, not Faridabad, Fatehpur Sikri. Mm-hmm. He was too scared to stay there. Mm-hmm. So the power of Hanuman can shake the emperor of India also. Mm-hmm. It's not a big deal. Mm-hmm. Okay, and this has happened to Akbar so many times. He's gotten humiliated even in. Uh, Himachal Pradesh. Mm. Yeah, Jawala. Jawala Mukhi. Yeah. She also humiliated him. Mm. So Hanuman also humiliated him. Anyway, so this was the reason that Ab- Akbar shifted his his capital. <laughs> you won't find this in the history books. Yeah. They say Akbar shifted to Delhi. Why? <laughs> this is why. Okay. So this is this is the power of the magic of uh, magical power of Hanuman Chalisa, right? Mm. And here we are sitting and. it's it's created a world where nobody can disturb us because we are really visualizing hanuman it's like a yagna it's mm. a shrota yagna right mm. where you're listening it's a yagna of sound vibrations shruti yeah. shruti so shrota shrota yagna means the one which you hear mm. like you're hearing something amazing about mm. hanuman mm. yeah read mm. uh, that's it that's it for today ah We did ten advice. <coughs> okay. And, uh, Good. So, how to use this podcast is just go over the ten, uh, the the dohas in the beginning, and then uh, the four uh, uh, quartets. Mm. Uh, sorry, um, the ten quartets. Ah, huh? yeah? ten quartets. Yes. Uh. So you go over them, and then you do the visualization. Note down what is the visualization. Not it's mm. not visualization. It's dreaming. Mm. Note down what to dream. and you dream it every day hmm. until the next episode yeah you'll become so good at dreaming up hanuman in your life hmm. okay by the next episode itself you'll be writing comments about what happened if you hmm. if you listen to what i said and then you do it according to that hmm. and never before it's been done in english yeah and even if it's done in hindi it's done in a very uh, surface level way hmm. where people are not really doing the dhyana they don't explain how you should do the dhyana hmm. It's not just Hanuman Chalisa padna. Mm. You have to do it in a dream state. Mm. That's the beauty of it. Mm. Okay, great. So uh, I'm, I hope you all enjoyed it, and let us know in the comments what you learned. Let us also know how you enjoyed it, and uh, if you have any questions, let it uh, leave them in the comments. I'll we'll answer them in the next episode. We'll have three more episodes of this, I guess. Three more. Yeah, great. Great. so thank you guruji for giving us that uh, model that we need to put dhyan on yeah. and uh, definitely it's something worth watching again and again yeah. and uh, also like you said noting down drawing and all those things will also do it think yeah. it's ram kaj and do it okay yes. hanuman will be there with you thank you guruji for mm. this amazing wisdom and knowledge we'll see you again in our next uh, episode mm. and uh, that's it for today जय श्री राम जय श्री राम जय हनुमान जय हनुमान